unleash the power of knowledge and connect with the heartbeat of the African diaspora. Download our African Diaspora News Channel app now on Google Play and Apple App Store. Stay informed with authentic and diverse perspectives, breaking news and cultural insights. Immerse yourself in a community that celebrates unity, resilience and progress. Experience the vibrancy of the diaspora at your fingertips. Don't miss out. Empower your perspective today. Search African Diaspora News Channel and join the conversation. Famous actor Idris Elba is leading a construction of a smart city in Sierra Leone. And he says that he took this project to change the stereotypical perception of Africa. And he also said that the building of this eco city in the rural island of the coast of West Africa will be constructed to an island city with its own wind and solar farm to provide power to residents. Idris Elba said, quote, are we ever gonna make a profit? I don't think so, but it is about being self-reliant. It's about bringing an economy that feeds itself, that has growth potential. I'm very keen to sort of reframe the way Africa is viewed. We often view the framing of Africa as an aid model, and this opportunity is completely different." End quote. He also said that he plans on building a film studio there and also he wants to build his mom a home there. His mom is originally from Ghana and they moved to the UK and that's where Idris Elba was raised. And his father is Sierra Leone. I believe that is the reason why he is building the smart city in Sierra Leone because of his father and his connection to the land. So obviously this is a good idea. This is a great idea, but I know people are going to be a little bit skeptical about this considering what happened with the Econ City. There has been a controversy with Econ Futuristic City that he is building in Africa. People are saying that they haven't received the promised deliverables. Some investors that were supposed to get money didn't get it back. Akon, with all that he has done, supposedly, when it came to lighting up Africa and having a crypto uh, city that's supposed to be in Senegal, and he has this Acoin, uh, you know, like a Bitcoin that him and his team went out to do a project to be able to help and assist small entrepreneur businesses in Africa and we're requesting people to come on board this journey in doing this project to help Africa. Now myself and many people joined on board because why not help people who really don't have much but yet you want to see them flourish just like you might see yourself or others. In this whole confusion, I don't wanna say scam, but I'm gonna say that they have not fulfilled their promise in what they would provide to the donors, the investors, or the contributors of this whole thing. Now, you know, they got themselves in hot water, apparently because of the fact that they were made promises that in exchange for people's donations, they would get a TOA, token of appreciation. This would convert over into an A coin uh, as the time goes on. But apparently, according to maybe the SEC, and I will provide this information here shortly of the email that they had sent out, but they were not legitimately able to do such a thing where they asked those people who got involved with this project that to stay on board with them until they can get things fixed and if you do not want to go further with this project due to the fact that it was illegitimate promise that they had made that is illegal that you can go ahead put your name in a hat and go ahead and get your refund well of course, myself and other people have done such a thing and they have failed to return people's money. 
which then will lead me to believe it would be a scam. But let's check out this email traffic here. You see, I reached out to them, which I was told to reach out to one of his board members, Andrew Carras, and he responded back and wanting to take my email and provide address and all that stuff there so that then they, I could receive a refund. And I'm quite sure they did this to many other people. But Akon, being that he is the head of this project, did not fulfill the need. Two years go by and still nothing. And though I sent probably three or four emails trying to inquire about the situation, you would say that there was little to no response. Now I'm sad to report such information because Akon had appeared that he was doing a good job, but it seems though that he is just like most who would want to use Africa only for his own benefit. So because of what people have seen before, they're gonna be a little bit skeptical, but let's give our brother a chance. Let's see what he's doing, what he's working on, and we'll be the judge of it after it's done, right? Anyways, fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are about Idris Elba's city. I am Ongil Zalalem, I'll see you.